so today's video is on uh, the first ladies and you've heard the the conspiracy theory that uh, Michelle Obama is uh, is a man but I saw a video uh, yesterday and uh, he, he suggested that all the first ladies were actually men and when you look at the pictures it's actually kind of shocking like I'm looking at them and I'm thinking every single one of them looks like a man it's Laura Bush that's a pretty much looks like uh, tranny of the month to me I don't know so uh, Hillary Clinton she's uh, obviously wore the pants in that family uh, she, the older pictures oh Barbara Bush yeah she's uh, she's definitely a man for sure for sure and uh, you know Nancy Reagan not exactly the most feminine lady either you know like and some of them look particularly strange like come on Rose Carter that looks like a man to me for sure like um, you know Betty Ford here is clearly a, a that's a man's face like does not not look like a man's face to you it does to me like all of them are so masculine that it's like you gotta wonder these guys are rich and powerful they should have better looking hotter wives and Pat Nixon definitely looks like a man and uh and it just keeps going like Lady Bird Johnson maybe Lady Boy Johnson uh oh and yeah Mrs. Uh, Jacqueline Kennedy there looks like uh one of the most obvious ones like that looks like a transsexual to me uh, <laughs> and Mimi Eisenhower that's the fucking ugliest woman I've ever seen you tell me that's a woman that if you lifted up the dress and there was a penis there I would not be surprised uh, Bess Truman definitely looks like a man for sure that's like does not look feminine <laughs> and Eleanor Roosevelt oh my god that would that looks like a guy just put on a dress and Roosevelt married him or her it's does that not look like a man? It looks like a man to me. I don't know. Pretty, pretty sketchy. And yeah, and uh, um, Lou Henry Hoover. Her name's Lou. That's wow. That's not even trying, buddy. Grace Coolridge definitely looks like a man. Uh, what else can you say? That's a man. A man in a dress. Why they keep? Uh, oh yeah, Florence King. She's uh, Florence Harding. Sorry, she's a. Uh, She's definitely a, a tranny, and uh, Edith Wilson, come on, you tell me that's not a guy, that is a guy, like, that's that's so weird, and, uh, you know, uh, Mrs. Wilson there, that looks like a man to me, Helen Taft, that, that's not a very uh, feminine looking woman either, that, that looks uh, like a man, totally looks like a man. I'm not going to call them all trannies because I don't know what they are, but, uh, you know, some of them uh, look like they are uh, full-on men. Like, they don't look feminine. They've got these square jaws. And they've got these manly features. Uh, Edith Roosevelt, not, like, none of them look, like, feminine and, like, hot. You would think that even when you go back to, like, the one before f photography, all those first ladies, uh, there's Carolyn Harrison. She's a... Uh, uh, Grover Cleveland's wife and uh, Arthur's wife like th all of them look like men like none of these chicks look like females to me they all look like men after I saw that video I realized I'm like holy shit that is true you know uh, Hayes's wife Grant's wife they all all these first ladies do not look like ladies they look like men <laughs> uh, Mrs. E. Johnson uh Lincoln's wife, Mary Todd Lincoln. Wow, that's Harriet Lane. Like, literally, I can't see any of these of these first ladies appearing to be women to me. Even yeah, even when they're paintings. Like, there's Fillmore's wife. Like, that's a man for sure. <laughs> that looks like a painting of a tranny. I'm sorry. Uh, Sarah Polk. Wow, all of them. Julia Tyler. Like. I'm looking for any of them that actually look like women at this point. Like, it's a pretty bad one. Uh, Hillary Clinton's probably the most feminine 
Yeah, this is bad. Rosalind Carter, man. Barbara Bush, man. Nancy Reagan, or sorry, Betty Ford. Nancy Reagan. These, none of them look like women. And, you know, Rosalind Carter and uh, Betty Ford particularly. But, uh, yeah, there's Hillary and Bill when they were young. And he really looks like the feminine one, right? Like, she, like, and when you look at the other first ladies around the world, they're all hot. Like, you would expect, until you get to America and you see fucking Obama's wife, like, who apparently has a penis, as many videos have pointed out. Uh, I'm not going to make a video on that because there's 10 million videos on that already. But uh, you can make your own decisions. She's got arms like a man. Like, she'd probably beat me in an arm wrestle. She's like, look at how solid she is. That's like a, a manly shoulders, you know, broad shoulders. That's what you're supposed to look for when you look, uh, when you're shopping for hookers and you want to make sure it's not a man, make sure they don't have broad shoulders, you know? She, just look at that. Tell me that's a woman's build. That's like maybe a weightlifting woman, like serious Olympics woman, but okay, yeah. I, like, come on, you're telling me that uh, Betty Ford looks like anything else besides a, a man? Like, come on. Yeah, and uh, here's Betty Ford holding a hockey stick. Uh, not really looking like a, a female at all there. Like, that's the thing. Like, you maybe say if they got older, they started looking less feminine. But these women, when you go back and look at them as young women, they also still look like men. They're manly looking women. Rosalind Carter that's like why if you're, you're why would you marry someone like that if you were rich and powerful like, like President Carter there you would think that he would have like some hot wife she was like was never hot is the thing and she was always kind of manly looking Pat Nixon like Pat Nixon is uh pretty clearly not a woman as far as I'm concerned I'm gonna suggest that she is a man in a dress. So yeah, then you've got uh, Rich Pat Nixon. Uh, she was, uh, you know, the. Uh, she's not very uh, feminine at all. Yeah, that's the uh, the person who played her in the movie, but uh, she doesn't look like uh, a woman really either. I guess they found a manly looking actress and uh, Lady Bird. Johnson. She is, uh, like I said before, maybe she should have been named Lady Boy Johnson because uh, she does not look like uh, a woman to me. She looks like someone, like a dude dressed up as a woman. It's hard to really, uh, hard to really see her as a female at all. When you really look at her, she looks like, she looks manly. I think she should be Lady Boy Johnson. That would be, yeah, uh, Jackie Kennedy is, uh, pretty strange looking when you really look at her isn't she if you really look at her from with that in mind that what if she's a man then you can really see it like I don't know I guess if I had to pick like the least ugly out of all these women she'd probably be up there but uh, she's still pretty fucking ugly eh? when you really think about it that jawline is just bizarre she looks like she could be playing football or something you know she doesn't she, she has like a square head and like she's all misshapen uh she really does not look like a woman when you get right down to it. Time Magazine. Maybe that was the first tranny on the cover there. You never know. Uh, Elizabeth Truman. Very manly lady. She's a uh, old school manly. Like she looks like... Uh, yeah, that does not look like a woman. Like, And even when you look at her when she's younger too, it's like... Uh, She's always just like looked like a dude. It's kind of freaky, actually. Oh yeah, and Eisenhower's wife here. She's uh, Mamie. She looks Mimi, Mamie. She totally looks like a dude, like in every picture, and just like a, a weird-looking, very weird-looking woman. Like I don't understand why all these presidents have these homely, manly wives. You would think that they would have hot, beautiful you know, sexy wives, but these uh, women look like, they look like men. Barbara Bush, she's uh, pretty, uh, pretty manly. Like, uh, and yeah, there you go back and look at Bush and Barbara when they got married. And she looks even more manly back then. Like, it's not just like she got old and all of a sudden lost her femininity. She's 
look like a damn man since since she was young you know like it looks like uh you know george bush won just you know married his favorite tranny that's what it looks like to me you know i'm not prejudiced against transsexuals but i don't think they're like traditional ones you know i think they're like some sort of aliens like eleanor roosevelt that just looks like a man come on how does that even look like a woman that looks like some dude like young old she's got like the most manly features like holy crap and even when you look at her when she's young it doesn't get any more feminine or any better looking like i can't even conceive of why someone like a president would marry one of these women ronald reagan and uh, nancy when uh, they were young see she didn't just turn into a f ugly old uh, man like woman either she was pretty manly back then that looks like uh, ronald and a and a man in a dress to me and ronald reagan was an actor too right so he was like rich and famous like what why did he marry this uh this tranny i guess maybe he's into that or maybe you have to marry one to become president i don't know uh, Lou Hoover, you're not even trying. Your name is Lou. Come on, <laughs> a woman named Lou. That's ridiculous. That's kind of like uh, no matter what picture you look at of her, she does not look like a woman in any of them. Like, come on, that's <laughs> that does not look like a chick at all. That does not look like a woman to me. That looks like a mean old man, Edith Wilson sorry and every picture of her too it's like you look like a man in every single one like that clearly that jaw that looks like uh i don't know why all the presidents have uh married trannies but apparently they have florence harding another total man in a dress like look at that that looks like a black and white man in drag it's kind of scary it's like when you actually notice it and you're looking for it you can't even like you can't even spot a like one of these that you would say is like for sure female i can't do that for any of them every single one of them looks like a man it's kind of freaky race coolridge it's a pretty masculine looking woman you know i didn't think short hair was as popular back uh, back in the day but uh a lot of these women have quite the uh, butch haircuts you know makes you really kind of wonder how it could be like that for every single one of them why aren't any of them like a knockout hottie you would think one of them would be i guess melania trump's not bad looking maybe uh maybe she's the exception so in closing there are some theories like maybe they're not human trannies maybe they're uh, interdimensional uh, demon types who knows i don't know i don't have an answer i'm just throwing stuff out there Thanks for watching and subscribe for more videos.